For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Stuff of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got my weekly player ratings video for you guys. They just dropped, and I'm going to give you guys my reactions to them. But before I do, if you guys want me to continue to do videos like this every week, I try to do them every week. I think I missed one or two so far this year. But if you guys want to see me continue to do this every week, give you guys the latest player ratings update and my reactions to them live, uh, just hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Now, before I get into that, though, I did notice that there was an actual roster update, but I don't know what players actually were signed to what teams or what players changed to the point that uh, we're going to notice anything because I mean the trade deadline was a couple of weeks ago so if anybody was changed or added or removed from your favorite team please let me know in the comment section because we'll let everybody know I should say because I don't really know what roster changes have been made recently now I didn't get to do last week so I'm probably going to comment on that a little bit with some of the ratings changes that I see like number one I noticed last week that Aaron Donald's speed went up two full points I don't know what he did at age 30 whatever he is to go up two full speed points to an 83 speed but i thought that was kind of strange another guy that went up the highest rated player that went up last week was mika parsons who went up to a 98 overall and i really didn't get a chance to react on that um, i don't necessarily have an issue with that i still think it's a little premature i think that he should probably be like in the 96 97 range uh, he's a great player. I know people are going to think I'm hating on the Cowboys. But this week, for some reason, his speed rating went down a point. Like, I don't know why they're messing with speed ratings and stuff like that. It seems like every week, I really only talk about the overall changes, but every week players are getting changed to the point uh, where their individual attributes are getting changed. And it really only, uh, I only really only talk about it when it affects them enough that they go up or down an entire point. But there's still a lot of changes being made that I don't necessarily report on or don't necessarily show up because I do kind of skim over and just look for the, the players that, that go up or down uh, ratings now the highest rated player this week that went up or down at all like an overall rating point was Jesse Bates who I've been using a lot lately I've been using the Falcons a lot lately in my gameplays and I absolutely love me some Jesse Bates uh, he's up two points to a 95 he had a huge pick six and I was watching that game because the Eagles weren't playing I was watching that. I think it was the the Saints and the Falcons I don't even know who won the game uh, but I was watching that in the background for the most part and that was a huge play uh, people like Deron Bland, by the way, I'm sure will get a ratings boost. Don't get enough credit. As much as I do like to hate on the Cowboys, I will not hate on anybody that gets a pick six, especially a record amount of pick sixes. That is hard work. I don't care who you're doing it against. That just doesn't come very easily. Pick sixes don't come very easily. So I'm imagining that that player is going to have a ratings boost as well. But let's continue down the line here and find more guys. Laramie Tunsil. Left tackle for the Texans. He went down a point. He's down to a 94, which is still a pretty high rating. Uh, you know, there's a lot of players that uh, would love to be that high. Uh, we also have Chris Lindstrom. He's a guy that keeps going up a point, down a point all year. Uh, he's down. A, he's up a point to a 92. So, But next week, he'll probably be back down that point. I don't know what EA is doing where they move guys up and down like that. Cooper Cup. I don't know what's going on in L.A., uh, I do know that they're actually playing pretty good. I mean, they're still in the playoff hunt, which is very surprising because I don't think their roster had a ton of talent coming into the year. But he's down two points. I don't know what he's doing out there. Down two points, down to a 92. I do. I know. I know he came back the wait the week the Eagles played him, and he played really well against us. But I don't know what he's been doing since. A lot of two point movements, by the way. He went down two points. Bates went up two points. The next guy went up two points too. Panay Sewell for the Lions up two points to a 92. One of the best tackles in the league. They have one of the best offensive lines in the league. Lions got a lot of love actually. They have a Amon. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is the week after they lost in Thanksgiving. But Amon Ross St. Brown goes up a point to a 91 as well. Uh, the big one here that I knew about before, I mean, when I read these, I read them live and I give my, my, my instant reactions of what I feel. Uh, but one I did know about was Jalen Hurts went up a point, which I don't even necessarily understand why. Because looking at the individual ratings, his awareness went down two points, which makes no sense. Uh, but his overall rating went up a point. Which to me, it's I mean, it says his his TUP. I guess that's throw under pressure went up to a 95. That's up two points. Maybe that's why. That's definitely pretty high. His uh, deep accuracy went up four points. He's now probably one of the best deep accuracy quarterbacks in the game. Uh, I'm guessing his throw on the run went up two points. So a lot of individual categories went up. And but I mean, the way that he played against Buffalo, he really only played a, a really good half of football. I can only imagine if he played uh, a good first half too. He probably wouldn't went up two points. But at a 91 over. 
overall rated quarterback. He's still one of the highest rated quarterbacks in the league. It's good to see him finally start to get that because if you're an Eagles fan, you've been watching the Eagles play, you know Jalen Hurts has been a 91 way before today. But he's a 91 overall in the game this week now. Quentin Nelson up a point to a 91. Tristan Wirfs down a point to a 91. Like I said, Lyman, they just seem to go up and down a point over and over. Although I still don't understand why Lane Johnson went down two points a couple weeks ago, considering that, um, you know, you can see how hard it is for the Eagles to play when he doesn't play. I mean, he's clearly one of the best linemen in the game. But for some reason, he had a two-point uh, loss a little while back. Tyron Matthew up a point to a 91. I don't know, maybe at an interception or something like that. Typically, I see these guys really only get this when they get interceptions. Dak Prescott up a point to a 90. Uh, just as long as Hurts stays ahead of him, I don't think anybody would really argue that. But this, and I know I know Dak's playing really good. We're going to see him again in a little bit. Let me know in the comment section what you think the uh, the final score for tonight's game is going to be, by the way. As I do think the Cowboys will probably win a close game at home. This will probably be their best victory of the year uh, against the Seahawks. If the game was in Seattle, I would say that they'd probably lose. But since it's at home, they play very good at home, I think they'll, they'll win a close game. I'm going to go like... I mean, I know the Cowboys like to kick a lot of field goals. I'll go like 27 to like 24 uh, Cowboys. That's my take. But Dak, I'll a point to a, to a 90, which I can't really argue because he's playing great football. I just know it's against horrible teams, which people don't really like to talk about. He's the, his best win this year, the Cowboys' best win this year is against a four-win team. That doesn't really get you far in the playoffs. Uh, but for now, he's looking good, and I, that's typically the story of the Cowboys. Uh, Jonathan Allen down a point to a 90. Uh, we also have Terry McLaurin. I'm guessing Washington had a bad week because he's down a point to a 90 as well. A.J. Terrell, though, went up. Like I said, I'm, I'm picking the Falcons at the right time because they got some really important pieces going up in ratings. A.J. Terrell goes up a point to an 89, uh, one of the better cornerbacks in the game, too. I'm talking about in Madden. He feels like a, a cheat code, really good player. Harrison Smith down a point to an 89. Justin Tucker. Now, this is, is blasphemy. Down two points. I think he missed a big field goal in that game. But down two points. Best kicker in the league. Maybe best kicker in league history. I mean, what, he's a veteran player, and they're saying his awareness went down four points. Like, come on, bro. But either way, he goes down two full points. I'm sure he'll nail a big kick this weekend and probably get a two-point boost because that's just how stupid EA is. But stop messing with my man, Justin Tucker, one of the best kickers ever, and they're still messing with him. Mika High went down a point. It looks like he went down a point based off of that um, – off of that touchdown to Lamade Sakias, which was like right over top of him. So I don't know why else he would have went down a point for because I thought he played, you know, he plays as good as he usually does. But he's another guy. He goes up and down every week. Can't really put a lot of stock into that. Uh, De uh, Devontae Smith, he's been playing really good up to an 88 overall now. So up another point. Uh, he got a plus four in awareness. I'm going to guess his like catching traffic and stuff like that must have went up as well too because, um, you know, he's just, he's just a, an insanely good player when it comes to – to fighting for balls in the middle in the middle of the field, but it doesn't really say. The only thing that really went up was his awareness. That's probably the cheapest way to move a guy up a point is just add to their awareness, as that typically has the effect. Uh, Javon Holland safety for the uh, for the Dolphins up to awareness points once again and up a total point, uh, which is typical. Like I said, that's just how kind of how it rolls. Uh, you got Ronnie Stanley went down a point. I don't even know. I didn't even think he played for Baltimore. I, I did watch a little bit of that game. I didn't even think he was out there. Trent Brown up a point, left tackle for the for the Patriots. At least something's going good for the Patriots this year as they go up a point to an 88. Alvin Kamara gets his uh, one point reduction back. He's up to an 87. Still a really good player. I don't know why EA hates Alvin Kamara. I know my Saints fans feel me. He's still a really good player. Deron Bland sets an NFL record for interception returns for touchdowns in a season with a lot of time to go. He only goes up a point, but he did get plus two in his catch rating as he should have like wide receiver hands at this point. He's also getting like offensive stats boosted, like his break tackle rating went up 14 points as he's now, uh, uh, he's probably an, a dangerous return man. He's got a 62 break tackle uh, because of a 14 point boost. I've never seen a 14 point boost in any category. His ball carry vision also went up 16 points. His juke move went up 14 points. I mean, I know he broke a tackle or two to get that touchdown against Washington on, on Thursday, but come on, man. Like, 16 point ratings boost for that uh he's also got a plus eight for spin move plus eight, i think i said plus 14 for juke move but some crazy stats uh for who is you know one of the best and most dangerous uh, defensive players in the league for sure can't argue that debo samuel talking a lot of smack about his upcoming game with the eagles but apparently he didn't do much in his game because he went down a point his awareness went down four uh, he, he went down a point overall. His break tackle rating went down too. So he isn't really playing that great into this big matchup, but we'll see what happens on Sunday. Jalen Waddle up 
up a point. He's kind of been languishing at uh, 87 this entire year. Uh, Jalen Johnson with a big pick, almost had a pick six, up a big point. He's up to an 87. It's pretty high rating for for the for the Bears defense. They're actually playing really good football right now, as they could make a late push. Trey Smith up a point for the for the uh, Chiefs interior lineman. Uh, Bobby O'Karake up a point to an A6. We also have Austin Eckler down a point. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Brian O'Neill down a point to an A6 as well. And I'm pretty much going to wrap it up here as, as I get to about the, the high 80s. I really don't like to go much further. Uh, Kevin Zeeler up a point and Khalil Mack up a point to an A6. Khalil Mack was Defensive Player of the Month. He's only rated an 86. Kyle Hamilton's having a monster year, too. He's only an 86. He gets up a point. Uh, we got Michael Pittman Jr. as well, up a point to an A6. And uh, that's pretty much as far as I'm going to go. DJ Reed Jr. got up to an 85. I'm not really seeing any uh, any great stats with the DK Metcalf down two points, another two point drop. He must have been having a bad a bad game uh, last week to go down two whole points. And my boy James Bradbury, what ended on that, gets up a point with the interception he had last week on Josh Allen, up a point to an 85. So I will take that because he's having kind of a down year. Uh, but that definitely helps out. So training in the right direction, hopefully. But that's that's the video. If you guys want me to continue to do these videos, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I try to do them every week. And that's it. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.